This video is brought to you by Pixel Starships 2. We're here, SoCal Game Expo. I'm with the crew, I'm with the boys, Retro Ricks hanging out with us for the day, and I'm excited for this event in particular. Not only was this filmed a little bit before we knew we would be the future owners of this place, but I hear there's some wild stuff today, which I'm all about the wild and the weird. SoCal Game Convention. Look at Curtis is there dripping and skipping. Ricky's over there showing me his butt crack. Ew. And uh, we're gonna do it. SoCal Retro Gaming Expo. 2023 and I have a good feeling that I'm gonna find at least one laundry detergent. Curtis, I feel bad. Curtis just told me that when he said he told the parking attendants with Pixel Game Squad, he said you're not on the list. Loser. Hey, that wasn't our fault though. That wasn't our fault. All right, officially in, Ricky. And now we're only like five minutes late because we're at the swap meet. We gotta go find stuff ASAP, Ricky. Oh, here's one of our homies. Everywhere you look, there's just good item after good item after good. Do you hear that? It's Pixel Starships too. It's their Kickstarter. You may be asking yourself, what do you mean Kickstarter for Pixel Starships 2? Well, if you don't know, Pixel Starships 1, with over 10 million players, Pixel Starships 2 just launched their Kickstarter. In Pixel Starships, you can build and manage your own starship in an MMO world. Command every aspect of your ship, from power system, to crew, to mining and battles. You can trade or battle with millions of other players. This game can be played on both mobile and your computer. That's awesome. Pixel Starships 2 just launched their Kickstarter, and you gotta check it out. This is one of those games where I have to admit, once you pick it up, pretty much won't be able to put it back down. And I would bet over 10 million people would agree with me. That's because there's over 10 million players. Want to know an interesting aspect of the game? Of course you do. There's a new graphics engine with a host of new features, lots of customizable options for your character, new oxygen management systems. You can also configure multiple ship layouts, switch at any time, allowing to test and adapt various stages at ease. Check out the link in the description below to check out the Kickstarter. Show your love and help out to the team over at Pixel Starships. Once again, thank you so much and check out the Kickstarter down below. The minute we get into this place, Gabo's already going for wild stuff. I immediately see him going down his NES hole and I see him pick up Color a Dinosaur. Not the funnest game ever, but I gotta admit, I put some hours into it. It'll last you some fun if you wanna poke around and play a, basically a poor man's quality version of Mario Paint. Gabo's here looking right now at Color a Dinosaur and possibly kind of looking at Bubble Bubble 2, Kid He's Clown, gone. some I other mean, bangers. Yeah, do you do trades? <laughs> Can I use the brown car here? They don't know what that is. They don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. It's not gonna work. But he also picks up Captain America on the NES. I love this game. I feel like it's one of the biggest sleepers on the NES. You get to play between Captain America, you play as Hawkeye, the game was made by Data East, and I feel like it is just such a underloved game. It has some of the best music, not, I wouldn't say the best graphics, but it has such beautiful sound design. This is a sleeper of all sleepers. Check the game out, you absolutely have to play it. Go ahead, Gabo, tell us what you just okay, got. Okay, so there's so many that I need for my NES whole collection, but for now, because of the budget, and I'm planning to buy more later and tomorrow, I'm gonna get Captain America, and I'm gonna get Colors Dinosaur. Dinosaur Color. I don't know why one night I spent like two hours emulating this game. Really? I don't know why, but I did. I don't know anything about that game. Here it comes, Curtis McGurtis. Oh, it's missing. Oh, oh no. no. He just bought, he just paid for an item and it's gone. Here it is. Dun, 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 He's getting paid 150 for, for a piece of play. white paper. That's, you know, yeah, yeah. It's a deal. Yeah. white it's a guy deal. for white paper. What I mean, a trade. Mario spit on it? Let's see it, let's see it, bro. Oh yeah, with poster. Wow, that's actually clean, know, dude. Man. It's a great deal too. Dude, honestly, that's really kind. Wow, this is good, Curtis. Thank you, bro. Later, bro. Merry Christmas. I'll bring back my shirts, dude. All right, Curtis. Have a good one. Dude, great job. 150 bucks? Yeah, those are. are and and issue out. one right now is a very valuable one. Right now, issue. Because of the, the sealed one. Or the great. No, I'm not sealed. The graded one. one. Look at that. 
that's clean. That's yeah, when you could actually see wow. the spine. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's, that's, that's a spicy yeah. meatball. Oh, oh my, my. <laughs> my, my. There it is, Ricky. Wow. Gosh, and who else would have such glorious? Is is that from uh, the? This is a, like a like a sewing machine guy from 1990. Wow, dude! And oh, a that's a sick one. Skateboarding Mario. Ricky, I just got this this morning. Check this out, dude. They have some really cool stuff. Like, so I got this this morning. But look at this, mastering Pac-Man. They have some of these really cool Pac-Man old booklets right here. One right here. Somebody recommended that. Tetris yes. Document. Oh, I've heard it's great from I've a lot of people. It's great. From a lot hey, of man. people. Ooh, this berserk is amazing. Got some real cool stuff here. Some looks like remake hats, but still super nice. Super Star Fox weekend one is super nice. If these are like 20 bucks, I'd probably pick one up, but there's some other cool stuff in here too that I gotta poke around at. Yo, he just gave dude this morning I bought three skateboards at the swap meet. Dude, this is sick. Let's go, dude. You're the man. Thank you. How much are the hats, by the way? Dude, these are, got it. Oh my gosh, these are great, bro. Dude, thank you, for real, I appreciate that. Dude, so this is a sick, I don't think I've seen anybody do a monster in my pocket embroidery. But look, this is the one. Punch Out Pizzeria, if you know from the movie, you know. That's amazing. Oh, so good. Son of a gun. I've been looking at this thing on eBay for forever, but I never see it with the box. Dude. The Zelda Ocarina of Time skateboard. This is a skateboard I've been looking at on eBay for a while. My brain isn't there yet to purchase it. My brain's not there yet. Let's come back to this. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh. What? Are you serious? I'm not a Patreon, but I should be. Oh my gosh, you never... I, I, I literally, I'm not even joking, I hit record to ask him a question, and it was filming as you did that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that thing is beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful jacket. Thank you so much, honestly. I mean that. Thank, I, I really, really, really mean it. And I closes everything to me right now. So, thank you so much. Ricky, what'd you buy from her too? I know you bought something. Uh, two turtles. I got Donnie and Mikey. Uh, <laughs> what was that? So this is wild. This is Donkey Kong. This Ricky has this one. This is insane. I've seen this before, obviously. I've seen this before too, but never in a capacity. They're probably not for sale. Now I'm at my buddy Romeo's booth. I love this booth because he has not only just some really cool, amazing jackets, I'm talking some of the best, rare, banger jackets you've ever seen. High end, high quality, high desirable. Unbelievable. Our, our buddy has this one. Dude, look at this one, Donkey Kong. But he also has a beautiful, very low run, if you wanna call it. Very rarely have I ever seen this beautiful GameCube display shelf. All right, let's see this. You got the KB Toys Nintendo 64 cap. Tell me about it. I'm probably one of three people in the whole world that has this variant. This is beautiful. It's clean. It's been valued at crazy numbers. I love seeing stuff like this. Booths like this are the reason I love conventions because you're gonna get to see things. Yes, at the swap meet, you see things all the time that are cool and unique and you get the thrill of the hunt. And I know the conventions are a little more curated, but stuff like this. Oh, what makes this so rare is that near the end of KB Toys Live, the GameCube was coming out and Nintendo was super cheap to change it out, the whole side, they left the N64 and all they left and changed that wow. one with the marquee, they put a GameCube marquee. But what makes mine super rare is that when they were destroying this, a lot of the times, this actual plastic piece would get ripped out. And this plastic piece right here that holds the TV is super hard to find. My gosh, one of a kind stuff that just makes everything worth it. Wait, 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 wait. I, I had to record this. Ken just came up to me and said, this is for me? I don't know how I feel taking this. I feel so bad. It's a one-on-one. It's amazing. It's a one -on -one, so. Oh my, look at this, boys. Oh my, God. are you I, sure? I know you got an entire wall, but. You, I, uh, there's always, you, find something. you wanna know what, today? Six more I've gotten. Since this morning that I bought it. I believe it. Oh my gosh, bro. You, I'm an art teacher in Wyoming, so I love the channel. Thank so you. I'm an art guy too, I don't know if you knew that. No, I know. So, ladies and gentlemen, I might be getting, this This evolved out of nowhere. I was looking at those jackets, they are wild. I mean, they are expensive, 
multi thousands of dollars jacket. He said if I get his store logo tattooed on my arm, he'll hook me up with for, for free. They don't know, Rick don't play. Like when, uh, when I, something he really wants it. I have 42 tattoos already. I mean, what's another one? <laughs> They're five bucks each. You got gremlins. By the way, I never realized how much in the drawing he looks like Knight Rider. And then you got a Pac-Man running here. So, Ricky, guess the year on both and I'll give you $5. 1979. Wrong. Dang it. 79? I don't know what I What's said. What's the year on this one? 1982. Oh, 80. You, should oh. you have to pay for mine now. Okay. Then I, I had to come back for it. I had to come back and get the monster in my pocket from Retro on Etsy? On Etsy. On Etsy, don't forget see and Gabo. Yes, I think that's one of the cooler ones. That's so it. You know what? I'm gonna wear it now. Oh, uh, it looks How good. You? Honestly, it looks good. How it looks, looks cool. Looks good, yeah. Let's go. Ricky's looking at this old Kirby, but we're, we don't know if it's official and they don't know either. We can't uh, I don't think so the more I zoom in. Yeah, this right here. The more I zoom in, but still the dope. Pretty cool. You know? Look at all the rentals. Dreamcast, Saturn. Sega Genesis, PlayStation, and oh, I guess, yeah, Ren64. I, I, I don't know if I can pick another one up. I have so many rental cases, and as much as I love them, they're one of those items that they're very hard to store. I mean, they're literally made to store your stuff, so obviously they're big. Wow. That's actually not bad prices on these either. We got Wolverine! Bro, that's cool. That's sick, bro. What, what, what do you think it's, it like sounds like when it rings? Josh, hello. I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've already bought enough skateboards today, but Ricky has definitely just called me over to tantalize me. <laughs> One of my favorite things in the world. Pyramid Head, Silent Hill 2 with the box. Where did that come from? Look, only a thousand made. Oh, Lord. When they announced the remakes, they announced that they were pushing out skateboards out of all the games. <laughs> oh, the remakes. help me, Lord. Look at all the Nintendo oh, Power dude. Cards. They're I, so great. I think we can agree with this before. Yes. We love everything Super Mario 2, right? The graphics, the art yeah. style. From the game to the artwork for promotionals. That's great. I love Mario Madness stuff. See, I feel like all these would be really good things to get made on t-shirts. Yeah. This is that so would nice. be great this on so right there, yeah. Wow, man. Oh, this is... Oh, dude. Those are cool. Vice Project Doom? Is that Vice Project Doom? It is. Wow. Yeah, they all are. I was thinking it was like the Capcom grid. Wow. The OG Capcom grid. Oh, no. I thought we could escape you guys at a convention. Oh, Dang, man. dogs. No Austin? No Austin? <laughs> Come back to the booth to check on the Zelda Ocarina of Time skateboard. I kind of thought about it. I'm like, maybe get, let me go look. Let me go look at it. No. What are you buying? Um, just a skateboard here. No. Oh, you. Oh, how much did you get it for? Uh, yeah, I paid like I overpaid like 500 bucks. You are a liar. We know this guy. Hey, you know what? I, that is one of the coolest items. And when I get there, my buddy's literally mid purchasing it. I'm not mad. I'm not jealous. I wasn't sure if I was actually ready to pull the trigger anyway or not, so I wouldn't say I was upset by it. I've been watching that eBay for a long time. I was happy for him, and I gotta say I made up for it by buying myself some Mario vintage headphones. I've loved these headphones for a long time, by the way. I bought them before on eBay and sold them to a friend and kind of regretted it, so I had to pick them up again. You buying it? You getting it? I'm getting this. All right, oh, 80, sick. I'm in. Billy, sir, is this old? Is this vintage? No, it's a re-release. Sell it to me, bro. It's $10. Why should I buy this? Why should you buy that? Yeah, or sell it to me. Are you a Ghostbusters fan? No, not at all, so sell it to me. It'll make you a Ghostbusters fan. Well, you look at it. It's oh. You don't have to be a uh, Ghostbusters fan. Look at that. You squeeze it and it comes out. Give me my change. You need to take the 10 and put it in my fridge. Do I really have to do Oh, I only have a 20. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wow, wow. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. Just, thanks, man. I, I, I don't know how I. Let's, let's never speak of this moment again. I love Billy, but let's not talk about this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, let's see what we got in here today. Ready? I bought this for literally, guys. I just was being so stupid with Billy Game Chaser. Uh, Ricky got this as a gift. Beautiful. Oh, Ricky. I did get this? that. Yeah, I got that. Ricky Sticky. How much? Uh, twenty wow. bucks. Really? It was actually displayed from GameStop. That's great. Look at this. Nintendo Power. Oh, dude, you got the bet. So got these are both ones. like the, um, the Claymore ones. Sheesh. Yeah. Sheesh. 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 
hate Phoenix Resale. And then uh, I got Ricky. Ricky. Oh, I got, I got that. Yep. Rick, Rick. Sagat or Saget? Is it cheaper to buy Saget games at Bitches or at pawn shops at the... So I got this off. This was a gift that actually fits me good. Days like this remind me of why I love conventions. Again, yeah, swap meets have the endless hunt, right? The hunt is everywhere, everything. But there's something special about getting vendors, buyers, collectors, resellers, YouTubers, community, all in one room, all in one place. You kind of just, everyone's forced themselves in there. We got items, we got schnitzels, but what we really got is good times and skateboards. Endless conversations happen, friendships are made, friendships are bonded. It's a beautiful experience and I love it. It's especially fun hanging out with Retro Rick. I always love hanging out with him. All right, so what you guys don't realize in this video is this was one giant long day where I went to the swap meet super early this morning. How long have we been game hunting, Rick, today? How many uh, hours? Let's see, from around six o'clock to uh, about about 12 hours. 12 hours straight. We, we've been standing for 12 hours on these hush puppies right here. Ricky, how, are you tired, bro? Seriously, yeah, I literally am. Yeah. You are? Ricky's tired. Honestly, guys, I'm pretty tired. He, Rick, Rick, Rick says that's how you talk on the podcast. He's like, Rick, Ricky doesn't say much, but when he does, he's just like, all right, guys, seriously? Seriously? Yeah, yeah it's good. A lot of people say on the podcast that Ricky doesn't talk that much. And people are like, Rick, bro, you talk too much. You're being mean by cutting him off. Ricky, tell me I'm your honest thoughts. <laughs> hey, listen, even, I've always been like a small talk guy. I'm not, not small talk, but like I don't talk much. That's why I hang out with Riff, because he... He does the talking for me. I can talk for 40 people. <laughs> Rick, is that your favorite thing you bought all day? Many of you might not have seen on my channel. Rick got a Sega Game Counselor jacket. Oh, look at him. Oh, you stuck on Gunstar Heroes? Press A. What? What does that even mean? Press the A button 14 times. So we had a great day. Honestly, a beautiful day. It's uh, uh, California for Rick. Just beautiful, wonderful outside. Rick, you feeling good, honestly? Thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it. And huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. Videos like this wouldn't be possible without you guys. So Pixel Starships, thank you so much. Check out the link in the description for their Kickstarter. You won't be sorry. Thank you. Hey, real, real talk. Are you feeling good? Yeah. I'm feeling great. I'm ready for another day. Oh, let's go. Retro Rick out. For Mr.